Hello and welcome to this audio commentary for Jerome Hill's 1969 live-action and animation hybrid, Merry Christmas. I'm Stephen Broomer of Art and Trash. Much has been said about Jerome Hill's life, not least of which by himself in his great autobiographical feature, Film Portrait. When he made Merry Christmas, Hill was in the midst of a transition in his creative life. After decades of producing documentaries, he devoted himself to experimental filmmaking. Hill had come to see film as a form into which he could pour his many talents across the arts, drawing from his interests in music composition and painting to make work that was defiantly personal. As a child, Hill had seen films by George Méliès that had involved hand painting directly on film, and it left such an impression on him that when he turned to experimental filmmaking, it was out of a conviction that this was what he was to do, to enhance photographic images with, on the one hand, tints, and every image in Merry Christmas is tinted, and through the blotting of objects and paint onto the film strip, as, a, as in the first family of Christmas uh, depicted here. Hill's objects often assume multidimensional form despite being flat. Um, painted in miniature, they're simple, lacking fine detail, and often purely geometric. Hill was painting directly on the film's negative, so in the course of printing these films, the colors would be inverted to their opposites. Warm colors would become cool colors. And the effect of this negative inversion of color is also eerie and unnatural. Hill was able to get print tests from the lab on sections of the film and to adjust what he was doing to, to decorate and elaborate his miniatures to achieve specific effects. Thus, an experiment refined becomes a method, um, but still, Hill felt that happy accidents could occur, that his painted figures took on a life of their own beyond his control. Of his animated films, Merry Christmas is one of the most ambitious, as these ghostly figures, Mary, Joseph, and their donkey, trudge down 44th Street, posed to assume complex blocking, their scale fluctuating as they're sent on their way. The bustle of Manhattan has its own chill, bodies moving rapidly in undercranked motion, like keystone cops but scattering with futility, seizing up in freeze frames on the faces of individuals piercing through the crowd. Times Square becomes Bethlehem to this restaging of the founding story of Christmas. There's no room at the inn, and no stable or manger to be seen. Yet the nativity's coming, maybe just down the block on Fifth Avenue. A foundational tableau of struggle and suffering, Mary and Joseph give of themselves, but are met by the ungenerous, impatient throng of modern life. And they travel on, anonymous, down the street. <laughs>